Cleaning up radioactive waste is a major challenge, but one recent discovery is showing potential. It has to do with bacteria with some interesting powers. It was found in the soil at a uranium ore mill in the U.S. state of Colorado. The microorganism is able to breathe uranium. In case you're wondering what that means, it interacts with the metal and makes it immobile, blocking it from contaminating groundwater. A team from Rutgers University discovered the bacteria by accident. My colleague Mike Walter sat down with one of the members, Professor Lee Kirchhoff, to explore the significance of this discovery. Oh, that moment, it was, it was really pretty fantastic. What was interesting was is that, um, like I said, there seemed to be a suite of organisms that are doing this. We were actually searching for a different one, which we still don't have at the moment. When they breathe the uranium, it changes the solubility. And the uranium falls out of the solution, comes out of the groundwater, and begins sticking to the soil. So we knew that um, there were bacteria capable of growing on uranium. That's been known since the early 90s. A variety of different organisms are capable of doing this. When you look at, uh, you envision the future and, and the applications for this, I mean, how far does it go and what do you see? Well, it's really kind of interesting. I think that um, the applications are somewhat wider ranging than you might think. Um, there's a variety of places that become contaminated with uranium. Any um, area of conflict, armor piercing shells have a lot of uranium um, in, in the jackets. And so it turns out that uh, you can have contamination in war zones, you have contamination in mining sites, and you also can have natural contamination. What we found with our organism is that uh, when it grows on uranium, it can reduce it and make it go away um, from the groundwater, remove it from the groundwater. It can also detoxify, which is kind of interesting. So there seem to be two mechanisms with this organism, one for growing and one for detoxifying. And so what we're hoping is that um, by understanding this organism and potentially its ecology, that it could either be stimulated in situ. It's a ground, you know, an organism that lives in the subsurface. So if we can find a way to turn on its activity so that we can um, remove the uranium when, where and when we need to, that would be phenomenal. Mm. Conceivably, you could set up something akin to a Brita filter in which uh, you know, the groundwater is pumped and then treated through a bioreactor. I think what you're saying here is uh, we're, we're still at the threshold, aren't we? I mean, there's still more to come, I guess. Oh, absolutely. Um, all the research that's been going on in the microbial world uh, just within the last couple of decades has really opened our eyes. Um, bacteria have been on the planet for over three and a half billion years. Their metabolic capabilities are just phenomenal. In fact, microbiologists um, seem to be finding bacteria in virtually any place that uh, life can exist. And so um, you think of something like breathing uranium, which 30, 40 years ago, I'm sure no one considered even possible. And then organisms were discovered in 1993 that were capable of respiring on uranium. Um, all sorts of other conditions. You're finding microbial life existing deep in the subsurface, um, in frozen soils, under some of the most extreme conditions, yet they can make a living. So it's really a phenomenal time to be a microbiologist. Well, Lee Kirkhoff, thanks for taking time out of that busy schedule to talk to us. Certainly appreciate it. Thank you.